The YouTube verification badge is something many of you want because it adds a level of authenticity next to your channel name. Who got it and how can we help you get it for your channel? Here is the badge. This little check mark appears next to every channel name when you're in the comments or when people see your channel in search results if you have over 100,000 subscribers. That is the first requirement set by YouTube in order to get their verification badge. In the past, any channel could have gotten it that the YouTube network recommended, but now YouTube changed it to 100K minimum. We can help you get it so that once you cross 100K, we will escalate the request to YouTube so you get that shiny tick as soon as possible, just like we helped all of these channels get it. These are all Freedom Partners who are now happier Freedom Partners because of the badge. MMA Focus is focused on mixed martial arts news and reviews. It's an awesome channel. If you're into that, click the link down there in the description below to check out MMA Focus. Milo the, uh, the Average Sniper got his verification badge with our help with 113k subscribers. The link to his channel is down there in the description below. He's a gaming channel, obviously on sniping. Cham, a Thai channel, got his verification badge and he is a vlogger. Trin Hill got his verification badge, also a gamer. Katie Darling MSP, trivia, what's MSP? Movie Star Planet. Links to all these channels are down there in the description below if you want to check them out. Iggy Fours 2212 got his verification badge and he's now at, a, at exactly 111k subscribers. Good job, Iggy. And Tham TV Master got his verification badge at 115k subscribers. And I'll try my best. Shem Gi Hom Nai. <laughs> it's a Vietnamese channel, entertainment channel, and they recently got their verification badge, even though they have 2.55 million subscribers now. So guys, how many of you want the verification badge? How many of you are close to 100k subscribers so you can be eligible for it? And if you're over 100k without the badge, contact us and we will escalate the request to get you your badge as soon as possible. Verification badge in the past was awarded to channels that Freedom just recommended, but now they've changed it to 100K minimum subscribers as I mentioned earlier. Now let's read some of your deserving comments, Freedom family. What the F, Kuya F wrote, Hey George, I just found your channel through Ronaldo, a bike enthusiast and bike commuting advocate. I love exercise as a theme and I'm happy you are biking to work as a community. I replied, great to see a community of bikers advocating health and exercise by cycling. Sadly, I do not even own a bicycle, but I do exercise regularly by jogging, swimming and weight training. Does the bicycle machine in the gym count? Let's have a look at your channel. What the F Kuya F? Just because you have such a cool name. So as you said, you are a biking channel and you are advocating how to get exercise and stay fit by bicycling, which is really cool. And here you are on your bike in the Philippines. The link to this channel is down there in the description below if you'd like to check him out. Let's do a few more shout outs. Mark Heider asked for a shout out nicely. And if you would like a shout out, do the same. I will base it on how much you help the community as well as your politeness in asking for a shout out. He wrote, I would like a shout out please. I have no idea if there are more bronies watching my channel. And I asked, how have you been helping other people grow, Mark? And he replied, well in my last reaction video, I did give someone a shout out. I'm also a nice friend. I offered a sample of my Teespring store and sent to my friend who ails is a YouTuber. I'm trying to understand what you wrote there. I think you gave you give your friend a free t-shirt gift because he's sick. Is that what it what it is? All right, Mark. I said we are happy to hear that you are part of the Freedom Community team on Discord, helping others and letting other people know more about freedom. So Let's help each other grow together as a family by giving you a well-deserved shout-out. 
Here is Mark Heider's channel behind me. The link is down there in the description below. And his channel is all about My Little Pony. And he has a lot of reaction videos as well. I encourage you to try check out Mark if this content interests you. And Mark, you're at 12,000 subscribers. It's a bit of a way to go to 100K, but you know the phrase, how do you move a mountain? One stone at a time. Hashtag never give up. This applies to all of you, Freedom Family. It doesn't matter how far away you are from your goal, whether it's 10K subs, 100K subs, or a million subs, or something more. Just never give up. Keep collaborating because collaboration is the fastest way to grow on YouTube. And just make one video at a time. Move one stone at a time, which is, you know, make a video every day. Lucia Grazia Mostin said, I'm so sad for you, Freedom. This is because we got a community guideline strike, guys, and we disputed it, but YouTube upheld the community guideline strike, saying it was legitimate. Click that I to see the video explaining the community guideline strike and why it was legitimate. And I replied to Lucia, it was a good lesson to learn. We are not sad, we are smarter. And hopefully you are too after watching the video explaining the context of the community guideline strike we got on Freedom Central. Fine Gaming Connoisseur was asking, how does your daughter's channel get ads on her videos without meeting 4K, 1K? I replied, Avianda is earning ad revenue plus YouTube Red. And here's a screenshot showing the last 28 days of her channel. It's very low, but you can see that there is a total of four cents earned in the last 28 days, of which there was some YouTube premium, this is actually five cents, and some YouTube ad revenue. To be honest, I am really not sure why she is earning ad revenue when her channel only has 250 subscribers, but it is approved for monetization and it is an old channel, but as others of you commented, you also have old channels, less than 1,000 subscribers, not earning ad revenue. Look guys, it's only four pennies. It doesn't really matter, right? The goal of 4K, 1K is to get your channel to a certain size so it actually makes money more than just a few pennies. So let's all focus on getting to that milestone, even though there's one example of a channel that seems to be monetizing without hitting it. Hey. And that's my daughter Avienda because she's very proud of her four pennies. Cannabeard Grows wrote, I get strikes all the time, 10 in the last year alone. Thankfully, mostly false strikes and I'm able to get most repealed as I'm not going against the rules. I replied to Cannabeard, wow, are all those community guideline strikes? or also copyright strikes from claimants that, as you said, many are fake. And we, I asked him, what did you write when you dispute the strike so YouTube retracts them on review? Tell me down there in the comments below, Freedom Family, how you successfully dispute strikes, both community guideline and copyright strikes, so we can all help each other grow together as a family. That is the spirit of freedom. How we dispute copyright strikes is, we add context explaining why the content is original, the effort that goes into producing it, and why we feel the use of the copyright holder's content is within fair use guidelines. Those are the key elements we found YouTube looks for to approve a counter notification so that they would forward it to the claimant so that in 10 business days, the strike would go away. For community guideline strikes, it's about describing the educational content or context behind the video, or if it's a news video, or if it's a documentary. Normally, YouTube can make mistakes for community guideline strikes if they do not understand the context. So I encourage all of you to explain your videos in the description below because YouTube does read the description when deciding whether or not to give a community guideline strike. So save yourself the hassle of having to dispute it by correctly documenting all of the intentions of your video in your video description. Hope this helps. Tech Dunk wrote, everyone starts asking for shout outs now, probably. This is because I announced, hey, if you want a shout out, just ask nicely and show us how you help the community grow. 
TT Bach TV wrote, Wow, thank you very much because he got a shout out on my last video. He is also a bicycle channel focused on maintaining, repairing, buying bicycles in the Philippines. Gara Player One wrote, I wish to be noticed, yes, but I don't want it for myself. I want it for my group channel, Sandbox Gaming. Because you are asking for a selfless shout out, let's look at your channel and see what you got. So Gara Player One has 29 subscribers. The link is down there in the description below. He has videos talking about sandbox games, a lot of Let's Plays, and let's have a look at one video in particular. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy the Duelist Part 6. Roll it! And once again, we are back with, with Part 3 and probably the last part of, of Session 2. I would encourage you to have more emotion in your voice. Make yourself excited because I'm sure you're excited to play the game. Emphasize that excitement in your tone and your audience will more likely be more excited listening to your video. Let's skip ahead. And with that, Pegasus had another duelist under control to take down you. Ba -da -da -da. That's much better. I wish you had that emotion at the very beginning of your video so that your audience would feel excited from the first moment. Oh, and I forgot to hide these thumbnails. If you remember, how you do it is you go right click, inspect, find the, uh, the container for this panel, which is right here and then choose display or type display none and it's gone. That way you can have a cleaner UI when you are making videos uh, for your channel. All right, Freedom Family, I think we'll stop there in this video. I encourage you to keep leaving comments down there so that I can reply to every comment that I see and feature deserving comments in future episodes of The George Show. And I hope you found this episode helpful. Oh, it's starting to get dark. You can see a little bit of my light going there. I have to adjust my green screen to based on the time of day because I'm here in Dubai and the sun does get pretty hot. Uh, let me try to adjust it on the fly right now. I use OBS to set my green screen and I think that's good. How many of you guys use OBS for your video recording? I'd love to know. Or what other tools do you use so we can all try the one that works best for us by knowing what works best for you? Okay, that's much better. So I hope you enjoyed this video about the verification badge and who got it and how we can help you get yours once you reach 100k subs. Who am I? You should know this by now. I am your Papa George, your George Sunpai, your Obi-Wan George Nobi. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom for Freedom and the Freedom Family, where we all help each other grow together as a family. So today I didn't get any exercise, but yesterday I went swimming for 25 laps of a 25 meter pool, which is how many meters? 25 times 25, 625 meters. Not bad, but I think I should be swimming a kilometer a day at least. What do you guys think? And I've also been drinking this almond milk. I don't know if you can see that. I know it's kind of hard with the green screen, but this is one of my favorite new drinks. It's not like uh, cow milk or um, any other animal, it's almond milk. And I've actually filled it with water now, but uh, before it was water, it had almond milk. What is your favorite drink, Freedom Family? How do you stay hydrated during these summer months? I'm told it's best to drink warm water. My wife is constantly reminding me not to drink cold water. I just like cold water because it's so refreshing when the body needs to cool off because it's hot, especially after exercise. But she's always encouraging me to drink only room temperature water, which currently I am doing. How about you, Freedom Family? Do you, are you particular about the temperature of the water that you drink? I'd love to know and why. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to this channel. 
dong that notification bell so you'll be notified of every upload so you don't miss a thing. And click that eye to see all of my videos on The George Show. That's a playlist of every episode in case you missed one. I am George. Be safe. And you've been watching. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.